G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this episode of Investment Review, we are taking a look at the LEGO Disney Castle. Let's review it. Rightio, so just a quick overview of the set before we get deep into the review stage. So this is what it looks like here, set number 71040. In Australia, this does retail for 500 and in the US, it does retail for 350 And this set does have 4,080 pieces and it was released in September of 2016. So it has been out for a good chunk of time and it's obviously a part of the, the Disney theme. So in this episode of Investment Review we are going to be going over all of the signs and just find out whether or not this is a good set to invest in or not. So let's get into it with starting with the shelf life. So we're going to go over to Brickset here because they will tell us when it will release which as I um, pointed out earlier it is September 2016. Now this set is scheduled to retire at the end of this year which means by the end of the end of its run it would have been out for about six years and four months, six years, three months, around that mark, so a little bit over six years. Now, that is a, a very long shelf life. It is way above average, so because of the shelf life and how it's been over for six years, it is going to get a one out of ten. I wish I could give it higher because this is an amazing-looking set, but it's been out for a long, long time, so one out of ten it does get in the shelf life category. Next, we're going to be talking about the minifigures in this set. Now, there is seven, and six of them are exclusive. So we're going to be going over here to Bricklink, and we're going to click on the seven minifigs here, having a look at what they all are, which ones are exclusive, and how much they are currently selling for. Because mi exclusive minifigs can be a big driver for a set after they do retire for its appreciation in value as well. So the first one here is Daisy Duck. So as we can see, this one appears in one set, which means this one is an exclusive, and it currently sells for around, you can see here, about 16 bucks, so pretty decent. So that's uh, the first one. The next one is the Donald Duck, which this one appears in two sets. This one is an exclusive, and it also appeared in the, the actual, the poly bags, the blind bags, the series one. So it is the same fig from that one. So we'll go back and we'll have a look, and this is worth about the same too, about $16 as well, as you can see down here. So that means the rest of the figs are going to be exclusive. So we have Mickey Mouse here, with the tuxedo jacket, which sells for about $30, so that is a pretty good minifig value there. Then we've got the Minnie Mouse in the red polka dot dress, which sells for about $23. Then we go down to the statue, which sells for about $10. And then the last one is Tinkerbell. This is another exclusive, and it does sell for about $47. So you can see from these figs that, apart from the, the Disney Knight here, the statue one, that they all are worth at least 15 bucks or more, and that Tinkerbell's worth over 40 which is amazing. So the, the fact that the minifigs are exclusive, and they are worth a pretty good chunk, a pretty good penny, um, I'm going to be giving the minifigs in this set a ranking of 10 out of 10. So very good. It will be a driver for this set after it does retire, given that these figs don't get released into future Disney sets. So, fingers crossed that doesn't happen. So, the next thing I just want to touch on is just a bit of the collectability about the set. Now, obviously, it is the Disney Castle. It's the uh, probably the, one of the most iconic things about Disney besides Mickey Mouse itself. It appears before all the Disney movies. As you know, they've got the startup, and then you see the castle, all the fireworks going. That is what this castle is, obviously, it is based on. So, And it also is Disney's largest Lego set to date. So that ha has that going for it as well. And the fact that Disney is just a very popular theme and it's got the exclusive minifigs as well which is going to make it very collectible and this also does pair with a mini Disney castle which I'm going to show you right now which is this one here um, you can still get this one available on the Lego website as well so it does pair nicely with this one so given all those factors the Disney castle very, very collectible very good theme I'm going to be giving this a uh, ranking collectability wise of 10 out of 10 as well. So, two in a row, 10 out of 10. Good stuff. Righto, next in my notes, we're going to be talking about the supply. So, how is the supply of the, this set? So, the first thing, um, as we can see, it is available now on the LEGO website. Now, this is a set that is pretty much exclusive to the LEGO site. I can't find it anywhere. Um, other shops, so your shops like Kmart's, Targets, and Big Dubs, they are not going to stock this um, set. You can really only pick it up at 
the Lego store itself. I'm not too sure when it first came out if it was sold at other places like Maya and stuff like that, but at the moment you can only get it on the Lego store, which means it's pretty much an exclusive set. So that has that going for it as well, which is really good. Um, and it, but it is not out of stock, and I haven't really seen it out of stock. So for the supply of this set, given it's pretty much an exclusive set, you can only get it from the LEGO website. It does make it harder to get a discount as well. Um, it's just going to get an 8 out of 10 for the supply of it, which means that there isn't a lot of it. So the higher the score for the supply, that means that there isn't a lot of it, even though it has been out for a long time. If it was only out for a couple of years, it would have got a 10 out of 10. But the fact that you, you can really only get it on the LEGO website, that's why it's getting that little bit of a higher score. Uh, so next we're going to go to the demand. So with, with supply comes demand. We want low supply and high demand. So the demand, how, how do we see this? Well, we can see that it's not, not out of stock. It does have a limit of five, which usually does mean they do have a good chunk of them in the warehouse. And it's as I said, it's usually always in stock. So I don't think the demand is there for this set right now. When it first came out, it would have been different. But right now, it's been out for so long and is and it's coming to its end of... Uh, retirement so the demand isn't quite there anymore and another way we can have a look on this is like sales on the uh, on the secondary market so we can go over here to eBay this is filtered for like Australia because that's where I'm based and these are the sold listings so we've got one here the 23rd of June the 20th of June 12th of June 28th of May 26th of May and the 5th of May so that is one two three four five six sold in the last about month and a half so not a lot and another thing we can go to is we can go back to we're going to come back to that the daily bugle in a minute um, we're going to go back to bricklink and you can see here it's got times sold 23 so there's been 23 sold in the last six months on bricklink and now we're going to compare it to similar value sets which this is where, where the daily bugle comes into play so if someone has five hundred dollars are they more likely to spend it on the daily bugle or the Disney Castle. We can see that there's been 85 sold of the Daily Bugle. And if we go to the Ninjago City Gardens, which is at that same price point as well, there's been 50. So compared to the Disney Castle, the demand is higher there for the exact same price point sets on the Daily Bugle and the Ninjago City Gardens. So which means the demand for the Disney Castle has just corn down over the years. So because of that, the demand for this set is just going to get a 4 out of 10. Not too high. Um, so the next thing we're going to be looking at is just the value on the secondary market. So we can see right here on Bricklink, the last six months, the average price has been about 462 bucks, So about $38 less than retail, which is fine. That's usually a bad average. It usually does sell for a little bit below retail when it is out on Bricklink. And if we can go to, we'll go back to eBay, and we can actually see that majority of these sets have sold for above retail. So this one sold for $600. Now uh, this one was... 444, 550, 600, 600, 600. So majority of them have sold at 600, which is 100 above retail, which is actually it's quite surprising, but it is very good because of that. So the value on the secondary market, I'm just going to give it a 7 out of 10. So another decent score for it. Now we're going to be going over the affordability of this set. Is it affordable for us to buy to stock up on? No, not really. It is a $500 set, and as I said in the US, it is $350. So it is a very, very expensive set, which the affordability is going to probably get about a 2.5 out of 10, just because we have to spend $500 on it when you could buy like $10, $50 sets. So the affordability is going to get a 2.5 out of 10. Now we're going to just talk about the box size and the box weight. Because obviously if we've got a big box and a heavy box, it's going to be harder to post, it's going to cost more to post, and it's going to take up more storage where you do store your LEGO investments. So we're going to go back to Bricklink here, and it will say that the weight, I'm going to highlight this now for you, are 5,700 grams, so 5.7 kilo, so pretty heavy for LEGO. And the item dimension, so it's 50, uh, 58 by 47.5 by 16.5 centimeters. So it is a pretty big box. So I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. Uh, if it was a smaller box, I'd get a higher rating. The bigger the box, the lower the rating. So it's not the biggest box ever made, but it is up there. And that's why it's getting a 2 out of 10. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is the theme itself, Disney. Now, it is a mixed bag of a theme. Uh, a couple of sets have done good. A lot of the sets haven't done too well. So it's kind of hard to um, to judge this theme. But I'm just going to be giving it a 7 out of 10. Because it's Disney. It's very collectible. It's iconic. And I do love Disney. And so does a lot of people.
people. So the theme itself, I'm just going to be giving a 7 out of 10. Not too high, but not too low. Now I want to be talking about the price per piece. So on average, how much does one piece in this set cost? So that is when all we have to do is get up our trusty calculator here. And we will chuck in the price of the set, which is 500 and divide it by the amount of pieces, which is 4080 which brings us to about $0.12 cents per piece, which is very, very good. As I said in my last um, review, it tends to be that the bigger the set, the price per piece is better compared to the smaller sets. So the price per piece for this set is going to be getting a 9 out of 10. If it was at that $0.10, cents, $0.11, cents, 10 out of 10, but $0.12, cents, 9 out of 10 every day of the week. So that is very, very good. Now, uh, part out. What is the part out value of this set? If we were to purchase this set, break it up and sell those pieces individually, how much would we get back on average? So that's when we're going to go back to Bricklink and we're going to go to the Bricklink price guide, which is this one here. Now we're going to go over to the, uh, the right hand side where it says part out value and we're going to chuck in the item number, which is 71040. We're going to be ticking the box and extra parts and get value. This does give it in the US, so I like to usually do kind of between this and this number. So let's just say 750. So 750 US is the part out value. I'm in Australia, so I'm just going to quickly convert that. So I'm going to be going 650 USD to AUD, which is about 1,080, which is a little bit above double. So that's, you know, that's pretty good. That's decent. So because of that, I'm going to be giving it a six out of 10. If it was double, on the dot, I'd get an average of 5, but because it is a little bit over, a 6 out of 10. The next thing I want to touch on is just, what is the chance that this set will get a re-release? I don't believe it will. It is Disney's biggest set. It's iconic. I don't think they're going to remake a Disney castle because they can't really change too much. And they have also made a, a smaller one out at the moment. So they've got two Disney castles, and I don't believe it is going to get a re-release, re as I said. Disney have too many other things that they can make. So they'd be focusing on them rather than be doing another Disney castle. And it has been out for a little bit over six years, so I can't see it happening. So I'm going to be giving a 9 out of 10 for the chance of re-release because it ain't going to happen. But you never know. They did it with the Death Star. So um, 9 out of 10 for the chance of re-release because I don't reckon it will happen. And the last thing I want to touch on is just comparable set performance. It is hard because this is Disney's big biggest set and the next biggest one is actually this one here and there's not really other sets that we can compare it to in the Disney theme that are this size but I just want to compare it to this one here which is the Disney Trainer Station now this one did retire at the end of last year so it's only been retired for about six months and it did retail for the same price for 500 and as you can see it's already selling on average of Bricklink at 613 bucks which is a little bit above 20% ROI in six months which for a big set is very very good that is really good news for people that invested in this set uh, but it was out for a significantly shorter runtime than the disney castle so do i see the disney castle performing as well as this one no i don't this one did have five mi mi minifigs and we'll just go through them it did have chip which he was an exclusive and sells for 15. it did have dale he's exclusive sold for 15 as well uh goofy exclusive sells for $69 then we do have the Mickey Mouse with the blue overalls which is exclusive 28 bucks and Minnie Mouse with the red polka dot shirt exclusive 21 so the the minifigs are all, all exclusive and they are pretty similar to the Disney castle but the shelf life is going to hinder the appreciation after retirement for the Disney castle it's not to say it's not going to go up in value but I don't see it doing as well as the Disney trainer station so comparable set performance I'm just gonna give it about better 5 out of 10 because this one has done well but the Disney castle I don't believe is on the same level even though it is bigger it's been out for too long but we'll see what happens so we're just going to go over those rankings again and I'll give my average score okay so the shelf life did get a 1 out of 10 the minifigs got a 10 out of 10 the collectability I gave a 10 out of 10 the supply, we gave an 8 out of 10. Our demand was 4 out of 10. The value on the secondary market was a 7 out of 10. The affordability of the set was a 2.5 out of 10. The box size and weight was a 2 out of 10. The theme Disney itself was a 7 out of 10. 
The price per piece was 9 out of 10, the part out value was a 6 out of 10, the chance of a re-release was 9 out of 10, and the comparable set performance was a 5 out of 10. So that brings it to an average score of 6.19 out of 10. So, not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. Now, my personal views on this set, as I said, it is a beautiful set, part of the Disney theme, got lots of exclusive minifigures. Will I be investing in it? At that price point, no. And the fact that it has been out for so long, I won't be. I would rather be spending my money, especially $500 worth of money, on other things rather than the Disney castle. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. But me personally, I won't be touching this set for investment purposes. But anyway, if you guys did like this video, please smash the like button, leave your thoughts down below, and let me know what set you do want me to review next. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.